Hello, this is Tom. Welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be going over configuring a RP1 CAE2 keypad or K1 CAE2 keypad. Those are the alpha keypads. Those are configured through a configuration mode, which I'm going to, going to go through. And the RP2 keypads, the RP3 keypads, and the K4RF keypads they're all configured with jumpers so they have jumpers on the back of the keypad and you would address those one two three so on and so forth so with these particular keypads if you have more than one keypad you do have to configure it as well as programming it into the system of how many keypads you have what you would have to do is on the 1632 there's a configuration jumper in the center top of the board it's a little black jumper you move it down into the lower two positions on the 9600, 3200, and the 255, there's a jumper in the upper right-hand position, all the way up to the top right-hand side. Same configuration jumper, you take it off of the top two pins, you put it into the lower two pins. At that point, you will go to your keypads. All your keypads come from the factory 01, labeled as 01. So if you have multiple keypads, you would have to go to each of an individual keypad and you would have to address that 01, 02, 03, 04, and so on. So on this particular one, this is a DK keypad. It's the same type of keypad as a staying away keypad. It just has the front door. So here you would go, once it says add a system, you would press 1111123 menu. Yeah, you have a couple choices in here. Keypad beep on, so you can turn the beep on or off if you don't want to hear the beep. You would just turn it off by hitting the enter button. If you want to turn it on, you would just hit the enter button. You press the menu button, okay, or the function button on a uh, classic style keypad. You can turn the sound on and off by hitting the on and off button. Press the menu again, and if I want to change this to address number two, I would just hit zero, two, enter, and then the menu. Compatibility number is not used on the 816, 1632, or the 1664 panel. That is only used on the 3200, 9600, and 255 panels. That number is a number that you select, anyone you want. You just have to make sure that the number in the slot here is the same as the number that you have programmed in the higher panels on the uh, again on the lower panels it's not used so you would just go ahead and scroll right past it if you want to put a number in there you would just go ahead and put the number in so if you want one two three four okay hit the on off button and then you would just go to the next step EZM address on the EZM okay there's a four zone EZM on the alpha keypads, not on the RP2 or the, RP, uh, the uh, uh, K3 digital or the K4RF, just on the alpha keypads. So this is where you would address it. So if we're using a EZM on one of the keypads, we would start off at zero one, and that would be zones nine through 12, okay or 17 and on if you're zone doubling on a 1632 if you're not using them you would just make it zero zero and then continue on zone response on the zones if you do use the ezms the zones come at a 750 millisecond zone response if you need to change that to a 50 millisecond let's say you have a glass break a water sensor or something like that you need to have a quicker loop response, you can change that. And how that goes is if you want zone one to have a quicker loop response, you would just leave zero one. If you wanted zone one and two, it would have a value of one and two and you would put a three in there. If you have zones one, two, and three, okay, it would have a value of a one, a two, and then the three would equal a four and you would put a seven in there. Okay, if you're not using that, it comes from the factory zero zero. You just hit that and then on off and then continue. Then you have your program control message. On the keypad, you have a brown wire, and on the panels, you also have the ability to do an access on there. 
and this is where you can change what it says when you press that access code so if you use this to open up a garage door or something you can leave it on um, a one which is door control okay or if you put it on zero it's going to be enter now uh, a two is a gate control a three is a light control and then a four five and six is control one control two and control three okay and that's just going to be appear when you press whatever code you program in so we're going to leave it on zero and then we hit go back to keypad beep on okay so basically that's the configuration mode you have to do that on every keypad if you have more than one keypad or even if you have one keypad and you're using an EZM, you would have to configure the EZM. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for visiting NAPCO Video Tech Tips.